Looks like the end of the road for people living at three mobile home parks in Phoenix. Today, the city voted against giving those residents more time. But before that happened, fireworks flew. Fox 10's Brian Webb is live with the details. Well, guys, the trouble started when some of the city council members wanted to skip the public comments. They've heard some seven hours of testimony on this already and have pretty much made up their minds. But when the crowd heard that, things got ugly in a hurry. Shouts directed at the city council, residents demanding to be heard, and a handful escorted out, like Nadia Munoz. She's uh, saying that, um, you know, she's very disappointed because it's a big offense that they won't let her speak. It's an offense to all the families here and to her own, uh, her own family as well. Several council members had asked for a moratorium on evictions, time to study the issue and maybe find a solution for some 300 residents, many who say they can't afford to move. It would be standing with these folks, standing for the only affordable housing that's available or left in this city. But the city's legal team informed the city council and mayor that isn't possible. A moratorium on evictions is actually against Arizona law. I think that's very important. These are very scary times for individuals and it would be a political stunt to tell people that this vote will help them. With that, the moratorium went down in a five to four vote and like it or not, residents like Elizabeth Torres will soon have to leave. These people, they have the power to help us. They want to shut up of everybody. They know they know litmus, you know, to speak, to uh, to say something about how I, I feel. Everybody. So the deadline at some of these mobile home parks has been pushed back by a couple of months, and the city is working on ways to offer financial assistance. But beyond that, it looks like these residents are out of luck. Live downtown, I'm Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.